Day three at the RC44 Sweden Cup. The sun was shining, breeze was blowing, and anticipation was high. 12 teams are in the lineup here in Sweden, all looking forward to getting underway. Going into the second day, yesterday was a bit of a crazy day for everybody, so a lot of the teams were up and down. Um, the, the leading boat, Petroleum, is on about 11 points. We're pretty far back in the standings, but we're only about 11 points out of first. So today we just need to keep chipping away. It's an awesome day, sunny and nice wind in Sweden, and uh, a couple of cool finishes inside with the islands and with spectators and everything. So for us as a team, we'll just keep chipping away and try to have some good races and see what happens at the end of the day. And for others, well, they were looking to improve on good results. We are pretty happy about how we said yesterday, and uh, we try to, to stay consistent also today if it's possible. This was a day where defending champions team Aqua regained their lead on the series, but it was also a day for newcomers. Starting in 14 knot breeze, race one saw Brian Benjamin's team Ajir take the lead after passing team Italia on the second leg. The British newcomers, well, they went on to record their first ever win since joining the tour at the start of the year. Well, we've been practicing a lot, so uh, yeah, it sort of all came together today, and uh, so yeah, it's been a long time coming, but we've been doing lots of practicing and boats going past, and um, see what happens tomorrow. Increasing breeze accompanied the start of race two. Katusha were over the line and called back. But fellow Russians, Team Nika, were out in front and worked hard to extend their lead. Nika took the win by a huge margin. Team Aqua took second after chasing down Ajir. Vladimir Prashikin and his crew finding their way on this circuit. Do you know what, what Russell told me when I just joined the class? He said, you would win your first race much sooner than you expect, but to stay consistent is a challenge. Conditions intensifying, the third and final race saw Aleph and Team Italia make the most of the early stages. It was Ed Baird and the crew of Synergy who seemed to have the best handle on the conditions. Tactics proved decisive, the Russians took control to win the race, but second place Team Aqua did have the most consistent day overall, scoring two thirds and a second, placing them at the top of the table. You know, we went out, we wanted to have a good day, we knew it was tricky, uh, with the breeze building and the waves were confused and it was a sort of a one-way track, you had to kind of go left and on the runs you had to go left. So. Great day, Chris did a great job and the, the crew an even better job just to uh, you know, be consistent in three races. With eight points separating the top four boats, things remain tight as we head into the penultimate day here in Sweden.